Let's leave the resort. Our destination is Ireland, known as the Emerald Island, where we set out to uncover its diverse cultures, savor its delectable cuisine and beverages, all while transversing the enchanting countryside that this land has to offer. Our journey also includes engaging with the friendly locals and delving into the intriguing history of the country. Let's go. So we are traveling from Dublin all the way to the other side, to Westport. And the GPS has taken us. All back roads, country roads. Country roads, check it out. Cow country. Truly one car, one car roads here. So we had to stop on the side of the road because we are about to pass into County Mayo. And that is where my grandma, my mom, mom is from. And we are tracing back the roots. And this is where it all started. From the box of Mayo. That's right. As we journey across the enchanting country, we are privileged to witness the unparalleled beauty of the Irish landscape. Rolling hills adorned with lush emerald green fields provide a picturesque backdrop where contented sheep graze peacefully under the vast open sky. Our next destination, Bertha Beach, promises yet another captivating adventure. Here we have the honor of meeting a renowned storyteller named Aidan, who will regale us with tales woven into the very fabric of Irish history and culture. But that's not all. Aiden shares his companionship with legendary Irish wolfhounds, majestic creatures steeped in myth and legend. Prepare to be transported into a world where stories come alive amongst the rugged beauty of Ireland's coastline. Our journey continues, and with each step, we uncover the rich tapestry of a remarkable land and its people. The Irish wolfhound is an ancient Irish breed originally used for hunting wolves in big game. Near extinction in the 18th century, it was revived in the 19th century now beloved for their gentle nature and their impressive size. This is, this is a beautiful beach. Yeah. Oh, God, this is, this is There's a lot of history in this beach. There's a lot of history around this neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. You know, good history, you know, real... As a man would say, solid history, what, yes, what yeah. can be proven. Not yarns that people will tell you, yarns, right, you know what I mean? Stories, and yeah. I, I'm sure your mummy has told you many mm -hmm. a yarn. But, there's loads, loads of good solid history about here, and I'll tell you about some of that today. And That's it's, great, it is great. very good, you know. But uh, we really go. We, do you know much about the Irish wolfhound? Uh, no. I you don't. know, the most popular question people would ask about the Irish wolfhound would be, how long has the Irish wolfhound been in Ireland? I think, being honest, the Irish wolfhound always it has been always been in Ireland. These are prehistoric. These dogs. These mm -hmm. are the oldest breed of dog. There's no doubt about it. You hear people talking about the Great Dane, the Great Dane's a right, big right. dog. He is a big dog, there's no doubt about it. Not near, nowhere near the size of these dogs. Great, I'm not, that's not knocking the Great Dane, he's a lovely big dog, he's a placid big dog. But these dogs, as you see, you see him marching, he's just looking, he's watching now, he's, he's looking for something to chase or yeah. to mount. But anyway, the, uh, the question is, uh, how, how long has the Irish Wolfhound been in Ireland? Well, Nobody can answer that question. Mm. And when somebody says to you, oh, I know the answer to that question, before he even starts blabbing on, just say, here, yeah. no, you don't. <laughs> Take it from me, you don't. Yeah. Because the Irish Wolfhound, you could go back as far as, say, when Rome decided to take England. They went over to England, right? And then obviously when the Romans were in England, they decided to uh, come across to Ireland for a summer holiday. So when they arrived here, they obviously came across the Irish Wolfhound because the Irish Wolfhound ended up in the Colosseum in Rome fighting mountain cats and stuff like that. Oh wow, wow. So wow. that's how they ended up in Rome. They, they, these dogs are all over the world. Yep, yep, you have it, yep. So when you're walking her and if she finds she's pulling you, you just stop and hold firm okay. and then count to five and walk on like okay. and she'll pick up a bit of it.
inspiring to listen to Aiden's tales about the Irish Wolfhound and the narratives of the generations of Irish people from this particular area in Mayo. The accounts of our ancestors' resilience in the face of adversity are incredibly uplifting and there's still a deep sense of pride in my Irish heritage. This is only day one. Can't wait for the rest of the trip.